everyone, I'm Alison and I run OK Mum. We are a private provider on site at school and we do the wraparound care for Loretto Prep. Um, we've been here a few years now and we are very comfortable in our situation here. We love being here and we love providing the wraparound care and the extra um, care that the children need before school and after school. So we open at 7.30 in the morning and we're here till half eight um, or until the children go into school. We hand the children over to the teachers. So parents bring the children anytime from 7.30 onwards. They can have breakfast with us if they want to. Uh, and we provide um, cereal or toast usually. Um, occasionally we'll do a continental breakfast so they might have something uh, like a pancake or a chocolate croissant uh, but that's a treat and not sort of every day. Uh, once the children have had the breakfast they can play, we do jigsaws, colouring, we play top trumps with them, they, they, they can choose what they want to do. Um, and then at, they go into school and then we meet them again after school anytime from three o'clock onwards. The after school sessions finishing times are staggered so we have the little ones for a few minutes by themselves at three from three o'clock. Again we're in this department so the children come straight to us, the teachers pass them over to us so they're in their environment which is quite nice because they're safe they feel familiar um, and they're handing straight over from the teachers to us. The teachers are around all afternoon so again children it just gives them that extra feel of, uh, feeling of being safe. They're in their little environment and they're enjoying everything that we do. We change up the toys so it's not an extension of school and it's quite important to do that because this is their playtime. So we want to make sure they want to come to us, we want to make sure they know us really well and they feel comfortable coming to us after school but we want to uh, ensure that it's a completely different environment. So. Um, we've got Barbie dolls, we've got ponies, all the kind of things that they don't usually have in school. But we've got jigsaws, we've got colouring, we've got board games, we've got tabletop toys. They've still got the familiar things. They can play in the home corner behind us and they can play outside if they want to. Um, the beauty of being in this department is we've got the doors that leads right onto the playground and um, it, we cater for all the age groups here so the little ones play in their uh, environment just at the front um, and they're familiar with all their toys, they've got the bikes, they've got the um, slides and the different things that they can play with. And then the older children, again, they come to us and they go out onto the playground, but they play in their top playground. So it's all accessible from here. So it's really good for all the age groups. Um, at the after school club, when all the children have arrived, um, we have a sit down afternoon tea. It's a buffet style tea and I'm sure if you can see in the background, but there's um, usually a choice of sandwiches. We usually have bread, we do 50-50 bread, white bread sometimes. We tend to stay away from brown bread, but wholemeal 50-50, they're the usual things that we have here. They have wraps, we have buns, and we do crackers. And we just change it up. One, so there's a variety, but two, so it's not all carbohydrates and nothing else. So we, we like to say we have healthy choices, healthy portions, and that the children are making those choices for themselves. Um, we are aware that some children go home for an evening meal, other children, this is their evening meal. So we'll talk to parents, we'll discuss with parents the quantity that the children want to have. And if they don't want them to have desserts, um, some parents, you know, the, they get treats at weekends. So we work with parents and we work with anybody with allergies, anybody with special needs. Um, we can cater for all of that. And we do so on a regular daily basis. Um, tea usually consists of ham, chicken, cheese, tuna, salami. Um, we don't have all the fatty meats all the time. Again, keeping with that healthy option, healthy choices, but we're not afraid to give it occasionally so they have a treat every now and then. Um, the children choose, they have fruit and veg to accompany the sandwiches or the buns or the wraps. Um, and they, we don't have to force them in here. They're so well educated in here. They were readily eating the cucumber. They love the oranges and the fruit. And, you know, if we introduce different things, they're all eager to try. 
so it's on that basis it's very easy to look after them uh, after tea we have options of homework uh, play art and craft coloring the children here love coloring and we introduce coloring books for them because what we were finding that some of them were going home early not finishing the coloring and then it just got lost in the process if they weren't in for a couple of days so they love it now they have their own coloring books and then they help themselves to them as and when they're, they're here um, so that's gone down really well but the emphasis is on the children having playtime. It is after school, but they do get homework. So the children understand that the first thing that they do is homework and tea or tea and homework, whichever way we try to organize it each day. And it depends on the numbers of older children, the numbers of little ones, and we just act accordingly each day. We change it up as we see fit. But tea and homework are priority. Um, and the girls, if all the girls are going into homework, they just go and they accept it. It's in a separate area and it's quiet and there's a member of staff dedicated to the homework room. So we will do things like listen to spellings, test them on their spellings, listen to reading and then any written homework we have. And then again, the beauty of being on the school premises is that if any children are having difficulties, the teachers are usually around till about five, half five. So we've got that added. Uh, bonus of being able to go and talk to the teachers. We liaise, liaise very closely with the teaching staff in here and we very much are working in partnership with the school. So like I said at the beginning, although we're a private provider, we're very much about working together. We're in a play environment, the teachers have the children in a more formal environment. So we've got the best of both. We can see children, how they behave in the different environments. So if a teacher's got a problem with a child in school or we've got a problem with a child after school, we can very easily resolve it because we talk to one another and we let each other know what the children are finding difficult and what they're having trouble with. So any problems usually are resolved really quickly and really easily. Um, so after they've played, uh, done homework, they can come out and play and join in all the activities. We're open till 6.30 every evening um, and parents have an option to do one of two um, pickup times. We do um, a 4.30 finish, uh, sorry, 4.45 finish. So if you want just a small extension of the school day, you can pick up before 45 and it's a reduced cost. Uh, everybody else you have up until 6.30 to pick up. And one of the reasons we did that, some will argue it's a bit late for children and they should be home by that time. But at the end of the day, if you're working in Manchester or you're coming from out of town and you're on trains, uh, for me to finish at half five, it doesn't give you much time to get to pick up. So that 6.30 works really well for those who need it. Um, we do Monday to Friday and we do before school and after school here on site. We also run a holiday play scheme and our usual place for holidays is St Ambrose Prep School in Hale Barnes and we run that from 7.45 till 6.30 as well. You've got the continuity of care because we provide the care all the time, all year round. We're not a, a, an after school club who only does a couple of weeks holidays. We run every half term, we run a few days over Christmas period and we run all the summer. And the beauty of the club is the children who are here after school meet children from other schools um, and they've made some, some of the children have made some really long lasting friendships with children that if they hadn't have come to the holiday clubs would never have met those children. So that's re really, really, really good. And that's one of the things we pride ourselves on.